Hey guys, it's Andrew and welcome back to the channel. So this one I'm going to dive straight into. So guys, this is for those who provide goods and services to NDIS clients. The big thing that you guys need to remember is that we have networks and we talk. Uh, I know for a lot of times you guys have had the power. So guys, I want to put a bit of a story time in here. So, guys, I, due to balance issues and other things, need to use a shower chip. This, for me, comes under assistive tech slash consumables. So, my funding that I can use how I want as long as it passes the reasonable and necessary test. So, is it reasonable for my needs? Is it necessary for me to live a life more ordinary? Does it help me reduce my support needs? So, yes, it is reasonable for me to have it because without it, I'm a full risk in the shower. I would have to have a shower while someone is around, a support worker is in the house. Um, it is necessary for me to have it because I don't have any balance and the fatigue. You can see where I'm now starting to come from. but. One of the suppliers, I live in the lovely area that is Toowoomba. It shouldn't, and correct me in the wrong if I'm wrong in the comments, it has taken me two months. Yes, I'm going to say it louder for those in the back. Two months for me to get a shower chair. And I discovered it was due to one simple thing. They did not know the difference between an invoice and a quote. You would think this is fairly simple stuff, but apparently it isn't. Um, they did not think that this was an issue. My shower chair, my current one, is actually affecting my health. I have maintained it to the highest standard of cleanliness that is possible. It has black mold on it. So if this is what people think is customer service, while well, they are charging a premium price for NDIS clients, you've got another thing coming. So guys, this is something that I know is systemic in the industry because AIDS, home care and NDIS suppliers, it's an easy sale. They don't have to work for the sale. But they forget one key thing, guys, and that is customer service matters and that support workers and clients talk. We are in a small town. So that means people will talk regardless of whether they're told not to. And in fact... If you tell someone with a psychosocial disability, so I'm talking something like ADHD, talking oppositional defiance disorder, or even someone who's just simply isolated, they are going to talk about the minutiae that is their life. The best, best advertising is still word of mouth. Uh, this is the thing. Toowoomba might seem like a big city. It is a big city, but it's a regional town. So it's a regional town under the surface. And guys, I do apologise. I am on the tail end of COVID. Um, so we do have regional, like a small country town syndrome, where people will talk you know how it's the seven degrees of separation? In Toowoomba, it's only about five. And, guys, this, uh, for NDIS clients, is why the NDIS is getting so over budget. This chair, if I was able to just go in, pay for it, and claim it back, I'm not in a financial position to do it, would have been half the price than if, I was an NDIS client, and that horrifies me. I know the NDIS has got a bit more paperwork, 
So does child care. So does age care. So does community and blue nursing. All state-based programs, but it is only the NDIS that they essentially prouse gouge. So let me repeat that for you. It is only the NDIS that they essentially price gouge. So guys, um, this one is the edited and safe version for YouTube. I am in the long and tedious process of putting my videos up on Rumble. So guys, I will have a much more in-depth video on Rumble where I can name them. Um, I am filming this on Good Friday. I will give them the right of reply and see what's going on but I do know this person who did it who did the order who did the invoicing let me say I went I rang shouldn't be in drama I can't drive nothing in the record book I had to stand over them while they did the invoice well, they did the quote, sorry. Well, they did the quote. Yeah. Then they ring. It's been ordered. It's ready to be picked up, but we're still waiting on payment. I said to them at the beginning, it's plan partners. You have my authorization to do, to send the invoice off straight away. I am in the middle of preparing for a change of circumstances. That's a whole other story. I'll put that up on Rumble as well. And guys, forgive me if you can hear it. It's just started pouring and my housemate is home, so I can't exactly know I'm this inside. So this is a like a message to providers and suppliers. This is the reason that in the NDIS Act, they have written into it choice and control so i can go to another supplier i live in a democratic country i have youtube i could speak out against this i realize that there will be some pushback because there is freedom of speech but that doesn't mean there's going to be freedom of consequences whether those consequences are positive or negative, I don't know. And this is, so I will do a, another video, an updated video. Let me know if you want me to make this video about choice and control because um, I've heard some really good analogies around this one as well. So, guys, please, if you're enjoying the content, can you like, share, subscribe? 90% of my audience are unsubscribed, guys. Guys, if you just boop the subscribe button, you get notified. And that really does help me on the my monetization journey. I am actually the unicorn. I'm one of two who are speaking about the NDIS from lived experience as well. So, guys, again, thank you for watching. And if you've watched to the end, Thank you. You guys are a legend in getting my watch time up and hopefully the podcast will come together as well. Um, guys, just watch out for that one as well. Um, have a safe and happy Easter if you celebrate um, um, or a safe and happy Easter if you don't celebrate, have a very safe break. Uh, guys, if you're in Australia, I'm hoping this will go out Good Friday. Please drive safe on the roads. We want you here for life. And guys, if you're in a sill house, I hope they make it really pleasant over Easter for you. Um, and guys, I am. Let me know in the comments below, guys, if you guys want me to do a revisit of what is a good and a bad support worker. I've had some issues again with support workers in the house, how to get on with them, because the fact of the matter is you're not going to love everyone. You're not going to like everyone, sorry. But you can be respectful, you can be polite. Uh, guys, if you can, please like, share, subscribe.